te reo mai oha ki ngā awa waka maunga ngā kāranga tanga maha nā umai piki mai ko te reo hai kai mo te hine ngā rohiri ka po wai rua e To the awa, the rivers, to the moana, the seas, to the huawawa, the streams, the mountains, the canoes amongst us all, I greet you all. Come partake in the feast of words laid out before you today to nourish your mind, your soul, and your spirit. I heard you tell me no te iwi tauwe he o Pirongia Maunga, ko taku awa koe ora ko waipa e rere nei, uh, I hail from the fairy people that dwell in the mists of Pirongia Maunga. I was born and bred in the Waikato. Um, I now reside in, oh, actually, I was born and bred in H Town, what us locals call H Town. What um, outsiders call the Tron. Don't ever say the Tron. Um, I'm one of those undercover poets that's taken me till my late thirties to um, roll out hits of undiscovered rings of words. Mm. Uh, so if I do that every now and then, um, my motto is if all else fails, just haka. <laughs> um, I work at the University of Waikato and it's there that I was inspired I think it was the Bryce Day to Muhammad um, in the Rising Poets, the Kahu Rolleston. Um, I came across the brother on, on Pukamaka on Facebook and I saw him and he was like standing in front of my, my waka across the road, paddle. I was like, that looks like the lake, that looks like my waka. Mm -hmm. So I pressed it, usually I don't press <coughs> random stuff and from that moment I was captured and inspired to just um, do it and I feel more comfortable on my skin at 37 years age. Um, so that's my paid job and my main portfolio is Molly Student Leadership and Molly Staff Development. Um, my real unpaid job is taking care of my six tamariki that range from 15 to 4. So Hiroini, you were talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Big ups to your poem resonated hard with me. Um, so what I'm going to share for you now is the first poem that I ever wrote way back in 2000 and it's still relevant today. I hope it's not relevant in the future and it's an ode to election year. And the question still remains, why are we still pleading for the return of our power, of our prestige, of our dignity. Warlocks and wizards wielding their power, slinking like lizards ready to devour, take you out without a doubt. What a catastrophe, how so easily they control my destiny and what's good for me. Manipulate history, devastate ancestry, didn't hesitate to confiscate my lands and seas, contaminate and spread disease, and with money you try to eat. But I won't say please for what was lost, already paid the cost. Mm. Looking for retribution, recognition, a chance to assert my true position in this world as a Māori girl. Mm. Warlocks and wizards wielding their power. Now is the time, now is the hour. Stake your claim, regain your power. Mm. Mm.